What is something people say without realizing it's offensive? If you are single, when are you gonna find someone? If you are in a relationship, when are you guys getting married? If married, when are you guys gonna have kids? If you have a kid, when are you gonna have a second child? The first one will be lonely. Ugh. The whole when are you going to find someone? Definitely irks me. It reminds me I am single. It assumes that I want to be in a relationship. I've had many conversations with less open-minded people about video games and whether or not it's okay for adults to enjoy them. One of the responses I got were, and I quote no like it's okay to like them, if like you don't have a girlfriend or like friends and stuff, but most people have those things so they don't need them the duck? Is that really something you say to somebody's face? A person who you know for a fact plays a lot of video games? To which I replied yes or to like how it's okay to like football if you don't have the mental capacity to understand any other form of entertainment. Shut her up real quick. Anything to do with weight or attractiveness. If you're over or under. For both. I'd probably date you if you weren't so. It's great you're so nice funny. You have that going for you. At least. Some of the more tamer comments. If you're lucky. You just get the pointed or look to other friend looks. When someone loses a child saying it's a blessing that you have other children. No. It's still a loss that no one should ever face. When someone says you look good for your age. That implies that you look like crap but because you're old you did the best you could. Oh your children look nothing like you. So good looking beautiful. Well. Thanks it's nice to know I look like shit. I lost my twin siblings last year. Most of my dad's family said stuff like that at the top. And a couple even said he deserved it. Oh I'm so sorry for your loss. How could anyone be so insensitive and stupid to say he deserved it? That's so horrible. I'm sorry. It's because he found out at an affair between his uncle and his uncle's sister-in-law. They had multiple children of which all except two were aborted. My dad exposed them. Or B. So do you like me? Even though I like guys and girls I don't like everyone it's kinda annoying. I don't know why people assume B people are attracted to everybody when in reality it's more like being twice as disappointed with both sexes. What's your secret, skinny boy? Depression. My boyfriend is very skinny and I'm a bit chubby. I'm always in awe of how he can just effortlessly be thin. But it takes all of the willpower I have in order not to stress eat an entire cheesecake at times. So I sort of get why people ask that question. Even though it's super rude and you should probably make sure you're on that level with a person before getting too curious about things like that. But on a good day it's I don't eat that much and on a bad day coffee and nicotine. Dart I have a chronic illness. If I have to hear it, at least you don't have cancer one more time. Edit. I thought of another one. But you don't look sick really. You look so good. Thanks for totally dismissing my daily struggles because I don't fit your vision of sick. I often respond with, well, it's good the outside doesn't reflect the inside, or that's because I am so awesome that I make chronic illness look good. Where are you from? No, I mean, like, where are you from originally? LOL. I very often get both of these questions asked to me one after the other. Yes, I have Asian heritage. Also yes, I was born and raised in Florida. My voice doesn't even sound foreign. It's a 100% Floridian accent. Finally, a place to share this story. About a decade ago while working a solo position in loss prevention I became buddies with a guy from another company. Since we were both solo agents we'd give one another a hand on occasion. We are both white as white can be. In the middle of nowhere. He had lived there. Sheltered. His whole life in Redneck USA. One day after I gave him a hand with something he thanked me and said that's mighty white of you. I kind of froze and asked him to repeat himself. He said it again. That's mighty white of you. I told him that sounds kind of racist. He looks really confused and does not understand why that's racist. I break it down and explain that if me doing something good is white of me, does that mean that doing something bad would be black of me? In other words, white equals good and black equals bad? You could see the moment of understanding pass over his face. He felt awful. Told me he never thought of it that way. It's just something that's always been around since he could remember and people in his family use it. 
he realized that come to think of it it makes sense because a lot of his family is racist, was freaking out as he realized the scope of how many instances he has used the phrase. He then makes a strange noise and goes pale as he remembered that he just recently said the same thing to his black female manager, and that she looked at him really strangely. He never said it again though. Oh wow, you don't look autistic, yep, yeah, thanks, I knew that, but thanks, I guess. How do you look autistic? Why didn't you tell me you were gay sooner, idk, some cases it's fine. Others make it sound like I owe them an explanation. Why didn't you tell me you were straight sooner? I think your hair looked better the other way after you get a haircut. TBF. It does always look better before. Because that's what you're used to. You associate the hairstyle with a person. So when the style change, the association breaks. And people in general don't like change. Even more so when the change requires them to learn something new. On the other hand, you're definitely not supposed to say this. You try hard. For me really. Because I care about how I do in stuff like basic fitness tests so when I try hard to see how well I do and to see if me going to the gym paid off. People calling me a try hard really makes me not want to do well try. I had no idea and learned this one recently. People of color. Good. Colored people. Offensive. Kinda confused but okay. Irish car bomb. Yeah it's a drink but don't say it in Ireland and for the love of god do not say it in Northern Ireland that is going to get your ass beat down. It would be like having a drink where you down two shots of afterburner and call it the Twin Towers. I still refer to them as car bombs though and leave out the Irish part. No offense. I feel like when someone says no offense it becomes offensive. X. You look a bit under the weather today versus no offense, but you look a bit under the weather today. Some people assume that in breakups or relationships of any kind, that someone is always at fault. Just. One. Person. Nope. It can be both or none at all. Not everything is one person's fault. Especially if they're dumped or the dumpy. Pisses me off so much when someone does this. They do it for fighting arguing too. People always gave me garbage since one of my exes broke up with me. She left me said she didn't want to be in a relationship. And then immediately got with my best friend. See. That right there is bullshit. That's what I'm talking about. It's like a pathological need for people to blame someone when it's not even their relationship. You look tired. Are you genuinely concerned about my lack of sleep? Or are you just trying to say I look like trash? Must be so nice to not have your boyfriend around to annoy you all the time. As someone in a long distance relationship, I wish my boyfriend was around to annoy me all the time. An ocean and a 6 hour time difference are no fun. A DK if this applies to everyone, but this irks the hell out of me. When I come out to people, sometimes I get this line. Oh wow, you're a very straight gay person. I would have never guessed. Usually coming from people I've known for a hot second before I came out. I don't like that this is attributed to me. I'd much much rather be slightly effeminate and flamboyant. I feel better about myself when I do. I want to be able to talk about my relationship openly with a group. The pattern of behavior that leads to that assessment is not a representation of the person I want to be. It's a facade born out of a necessity to pass a straight for my own safety. Praising that behavior sets me 10 steps back from where I am now. If you would just work on your husband more, you could have a baby. WTF. Why would you assume a woman wants a baby and the man doesn't? Why would you assume a couple in their late 40s early 50s would even consider such a thing? Asking when I'm planning to have kids. I can't. Cheers for the reminder. On my 30th birthday my co-worker turned to me and said, now that you're 30 are going to have kids? You don't want to be an old mom do you? I can't have kids. I've been told by multiple doctors that I can't. But hey. Thanks for the reminder. I usually don't like black people. Oh no. You're okay. Or. Honestly I don't really even see you as a black person cause you're different. You're actually nice. IDK what the hell kinda mental gymnastics y'all gotta go through to expect someone to take this shit as a compliment. My favorite. 
after someone has a conversation with a black person. I'm surprised. He's so articulate. I'm 72. Hate it when people call me young man. WTF is that about? The thing where you're tearing one person down to lift another person up. As a creator, it really sucks to get compliments on your work at the expense of other creators. For example, Ro, your cosplay is so good, I saw someone else cosplaying. Same character, earlier but they didn't look nearly as good as you. Or you know, I really ducking hate that character you're cosplaying, but you still look good as them so good job. Those aren't compliments, they're insults towards other creators disguised as compliments. You can just say I like your work without bringing up that other guy whose work you hate as a point of comparison. Had a guy compliment my cosplay and follow it up with at least your tits aren't out like Jessica Negris. I hate it when cosplayers do that for attention. It was a cosplay she had done around the time. I'm not a girl, nor could he have mistaken me for one. So I'm not even sure why he made the comment. I liked you with long hair more, but you're still pretty. I have gotten that like 10 times. I liked you more when you weren't talking. I'm bipolar. I was diagnosed 20 years ago. I live a very routine oriented life with no drinking or recreational drugs. I go to my doctor and take my meds regularly. Last year, for the first time in 15 years, I had a mental breakdown. It required me to take 6 weeks off work. When my co-workers caught word of what happened, I can't tell you how many you need to spend time in nature or invitations I received to church, because apparently Jesus would fix it. I have a chemical imbalance. Just like you can't pray a heart attack away, you can't magically adjust your brain chemistry. Best comment of the day. When somebody is incredibly interesting and fun to talk to that usually means they are intelligent, which is different from educated, but the two are not mutually exclusive or inclusive. I have known very intelligent self-taught people with little formal education. I have also known many idiots educated beyond their intelligence. Proper use of vocabulary means the ability to communicate with his target audience. I speak differently to doctors than I talk to laborers. The point is communication, not being impressive.